guys, it's Kathy Higginbotham with Cheney Homes, also known as Kent Island Kathy. Today is Wednesday, which means it is why I love Kent Island Wednesday. And today I am showing some love for Project Linus. Project Linus is, um, if you remember Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and there's a character in there that always carries around his blanket, that's Linus. So that's where they came up with the name for this nonprofit, which helps, um, it actually makes and distributes handmade, handmade blankets to children in need within the community. This weekend on Saturday, uh, Project Linus is having a Make a Blanket Day here on Kent Island. You can go to the Queen Anne's County Library, the Kent Island branch, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., 12 noon, and help make a blanket. You can do that by um, you can bring in some materials, or you can help make the blankets, you can also donate supplies. Uh, you can donate money to help buy supplies to help make these. These blankets are all handmade. Um, the reason why I chose this um, to talk about was one, they're going to be here this weekend doing the Make a Blanket Day. And also, uh, my son was a recipient of a Project Linus blanket. Earlier this year, I, I took Pearson in to our local pediatrician because he was complaining of stomach pains. They sent us over um, to get an ultrasound. From there, I was called and told to immediately go to the emergency room. We, um, I couldn't just go to Anne Arundel Medical Center. I needed to go to Johns Hopkins where they had a pediatric surgeon. So we went, it was like four o'clock on a Wednesday and I drove up there. I was in my work clothes. Pearson was in his clothes that he'd been wearing all day and we soon found out that we we're going to be spending the night and I didn't have anything. And it's such a, you know, scary situation anytime you're in the hospital, especially with your child. And hospitals are not known to be very comfortable. Uh, you know, you're sitting in a, you know, as a parent or as the guest of a patient, you're sitting in an uncomfortable chair and the bed sheets on the hospitals are very starchy and hard. So as we were waiting, um, we knew we were going to have to be there overnight for observation and to be talking with some surgeons, which he didn't end up having to have um, any surgery. So thank goodness for that. We were able to avoid that. Um, but while we were there and the nurses were getting us ready, they brought us a blanket. And this is just a nice soft fleece blanket. Um, you can see the tag here. Project Linus, uh, made with tender loving care, and it, it also had a tag on here and told us who made the blanket. So I was able to write a letter and thank this woman for making this blanket because it was something that really helped us, you know, it's something soft and in a very hard situation. So again, this Saturday, you can help out yourself um, by helping to make blankets or like I said, bringing some materials that you might have um, or don't making donations to help them buy materials so they can continue doing this for children in the community. Again, it's projectlinus.org. I will flash that up here. It's this Saturday at the Queen Anne's County Library on Ken Island from 10 a.m. till noon. Um, check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to them. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next Wednesday for showing some love. Bye.